sunny day today, isn't it? I look like a pale albino. But, uh, oh. You see, I haven't shaved anymore because um, I've kind of crossed that line. Uh, a man will know what I'm talking about, and some women. Um, you, you've got a few days to shave, um, and if you cross that line, it's like you might as well just grow a beard, you know? It's, um, otherwise, it's just too painful to shave. And that's how you shave. Like that. <laughs> um, yeah. So I was going to do a video. <clears throat> I was going to do a video about um, Liverpool because a lot of people um, from um, from the, the great city of Liverpool have have got in touch and said the scouse accent I did in the British videos one um, was was pretty bad, and, and I agree it was. Um, the only reason I put it in there was because if I didn't put it in there, everybody would be messaging me going, "Oh my God, where's Liverpool?" See, I can't even do it there. Yeah, um, but. I say I, I didn't want to offend anyone from Liverpool. I mean, basically, when I did the video, you got to understand. I just did it because uh, I was sitting at home and I was bored, and I've always been able to do accents. Now I've seen some of the, the attempts on YouTube, and a lot of them are pretty crap. So I thought I, I, I thought maybe I could do better than that. Um, <clears throat> and I've always been able to do accents since I was a kid because we moved around a lot. So, um, but I never went to Liverpool. I never lived in Liverpool. I don't have any family there. Um, I actually have got a um, I've got like a second cousin up there who's um, a detective with the CID and um, when we have family gatherings he, he tells us about the lovely sights that he sees in Liverpool and that kind of freaks me out he's like you're just talking about normal stuff about what you're doing and work and that and all of a sudden he'll just go yeah we found a dead prostitute the other day without any arms and legs I'm like yeah cheers for that anyway so um, I, I don't have any sort of compar comparability um, or anything to compare it with um, so as I said I didn't want to offend anyone I didn't want to sort of I didn't, I, I'm living up to the stereotype of Liverpool and what people say uh, it's like Harry Enfield, the Harry Enfield show and it's it's sort of what people's views are about Liverpool I mean, uh, you know, I know it's cause Boris Johnson last year, I think it was last or the year before um, said that um, Liverpoolians and Scousers were um, obsessed by grieving and this is like a couple of days after Ken Bigley who, um, if anyone doesn't know he was, um, I think he was an engineer and he was out in Iraq. He was from Liverpool, and he was out in Iraq, and he got kidnapped, and he got beheaded, and it was, it was, uh, it was really horrible because the whole was, the TV was covering it for like two weeks or three weeks before, and it was just disgusting. And, and what Boris Johnson said, even though I'm a fan of Boris Johnson generally, I thought that was completely out of order, and he was right. He had to go up there and apologise, and I don't want to have to do that. Um, but I never, I don't think I said anything quite as bad as that. But I mean, I, you know, I remember as a kid, I saw. Um, the scenes at, at Hillsborough, um, where a lot of Liverpool fans, well, I think it was about 95 Liverpool fans died, and um, I remember seeing that, and I was about 9 or 10 at the time, and I'd seen the scenes, it's just, it's like imprinted on my mind, and it's just gross, and it's um, it, it's something that, I, you know, and to say that people, you know, Liverpool's had a tough time, um, the, the, with the Jamie Bulger thing, and um, and Hillsborough and all that kind of stuff and I, I didn't want to kind of say that I was being insensitive or anything like that to, to Scousers I don't even know if you like being called Scousers I don't know but someone sent me a video someone did a response and um, got me, kind of got me thinking so I thought I'd do this video and just say you know there it is but um, I don't you know I say I was just doing the, I was just doing the video I didn't know as many people were going to watch the video as they did I did it just you know months ago um, nearly a year ago and it was just it was just something to do, and it wasn't like this, this was going to be on YouTube, and it was, oh, obviously it was going to be on YouTube, but I didn't think it was going to be featured and all that kind of stuff. So um, it wasn't it wasn't meant as an intentional diss. And I know Liverpool, I've never been, actually, I've been to Liverpool once. I went to um, a place called uh, Speak, which is just on the outskirts, because I had to go into a job interview near the airport, but that was about as close as it got. So I've never really been there, So, but I, I know it's a... It's a it's a great place. I love the people there are fantastic. And um, here's me butt kissing now. And um, John Lennon, he's good. And Paul McCartney. Uh, and all the other ones, all the other ones. Um, Jimmy Tarbuck, actually, maybe not. Um, but you, you know what I mean. Um, so sorry, Liverpool. And um, I didn't mean to offend anyone. It's just a stereotype. I mean, it's like saying the French are smelly or the Scots are tight. Um, it's just a stereotype, but I don't think it helps when people like me emphasise it. But uh, good luck with the uh, European City of Culture thing next year. It should be a laugh. So, um, thank you. And good night.
see, still got a sense. Yeah, I'm gonna stop. Yeah.